Hi, this is going to be a really quick video just talking about the types of data that there are. So in statistics, it is important to know what kind of data you're working with because there are different graphical displays that you use for different types of data. Also, there are different statistical applications that you can do with different types of data. So the two types of data that we deal with are qualitative data and quantitative data. Some textbooks, instead of calling it qualitative, call it categorical. Um, the textbook that I'm currently teaching from does use the term qualitative. Okay, um, qualitative data is data that consists of attributes, labels, or non-numerical entries. So this is anything you can't do math with. So examples that I have written down here are like your phone number, your hair color, type of car driven. Um, one that could fall into this and also the other one is age, because I can use age to categorize things. Like for example, I could put people from 20 to 29 in one group and people from 30 to 39 in another group, etc. Um, so age could fall into both of them, just depending upon how it is written. Quantitative data, on the other hand, is data that you can actually do math with. So this will always be numerical measurements or counts. So anything that you can find averages of or find means of, you can find the difference, subtract, multiply, anything you can do math with or it makes sense, um, that would be quantitative data. So. If you think about it, quantitative sounds like quantity, so that would be measurements or counts. Qualitative sounds like qualities um, or categories for the categorical data, whichever one you like better. Uh, with quantitative data, examples are height, weight, temperature. Again, age could fall underneath this one because of the fact that age could be a measurement. You could find the average age of students. Um, so it is one that you have to look at the context of for sure. All right, so down here I have some examples for you that you could go through. If you want to pause the video, you can look and see um, and determine whether it is qualitative or quantitative. And then once you've written down an answer for each of them, then go ahead and resume watching to see if you got it correct. All right, so the first one that I have written down here is the Dewey Decimal System. The Dewey Decimal System is uh, a numerical system that we use in libraries to help us organize things. So this would be something that is qualitative only. It helps us to organize or arrange things. Other things that might fall into this type of thing would be like ISBN numbers or invoices. Okay, the next one we have is elevation. The elevation of a mountain is a measurement, so this would be quantitative. You could actually figure out how far above sea level something is, so this would be quantitative. Volume of gas in a gas tank. This again would be quantitative because you can do math with it. You could, it's a measurement. You're trying to figure out how much capacity it holds, and so um, this would be something that you could actually do math with if you're talking about the numbers, or the amount of gas. And then the last one that I have is the color of your eyes, and this again would be a quality. Um, so this would fall under qualitative data. So again, this was just a quick video in order to um, introduce you to qualitative or categorical data versus quantitative data. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.